separable differential equation problem and I give thanks to Karen at National Math and Science Initiative for providing this problem. Let's look at this problem. Let V of T be the velocity in feet per second of a skydiver at time t seconds. t is greater than or equal to zero. After her parachute opens, her velocity satisfies the differential equation dv dt equals negative 2t minus 32 with the initial condition v of zero equals negative 50. Part A. Use separation of variables to find an expression for v in terms of t where t is measured in seconds. Here's the differential equation from which we'll work dv dt equals negative 2v minus 32. The first thing we'll do is separate the variables. We need to separate the dt and the dv and the first way I can see to move that direction is to multiply the equation by the denominator of the left side of the equation dt. For the next few steps there are different ways to get there but I'll just choose one of them. We have dv equals negative 2v dt minus 32 dt. We look for a common factor between these two terms which is negative 2 dt. And here's the equation with negative 2 dt factored out. We have dv equals negative 2 dt times quantity v plus 16. Next dividing by quantity v plus 16 we have dv over v plus 16 equals negative 2 dt. Now with the variable separated we will be integrating both sides of the equation. And here are the integrals set up on both sides of the equation. We have the integral of dv over v plus 16 equals the integral of negative 2 dt. And after integrating we get the natural logarithm of the absolute value of quantity v plus 16 equals negative 2t plus our constant of integration c. Now to cancel out the natural log or logarithm base e on the left side, we can raise each side of the equation as powers of Euler's number e. So that gives us e to the power of the natural logarithm of the absolute value of quantity v plus 16 equals e to the power of negative 2t plus c. e raised to the power of, of the logarithm base e cancel each other to equal 1 on the left side of the equation. So we have v plus 16 equals e to the negative 2t plus c. Next we can rewrite the right side of the equation as e to the negative 2t power times e to the c power. And since e to the power of a constant or e to the power of c is a constant also we can rewrite e to the power of c as the constant k. So now we have v plus 16 equals k times e to the power of negative 2t. And now solving for v we have v equals k times e to the power of negative 2t minus 16. Now we'll work on finding the particular solution to this equation by substituting our initial condition of negative 50 for v and a 0 for t. Since e to the 0 power is 1 we have negative 50 equals k minus 16. Solving for k, k equals negative 34 which we can substitute back into our general solution. So our particular solution is v equals negative 34e to the power of negative 2t minus 16. This is our answer to part a that we box in as our correct answer. Having solved part a we bring in part b. Terminal velocity is defined as the limit as t approaches infinity of v of t. Find the terminal velocity of the skydiver to the nearest foot per second. Let's look at our equation for velocity. v or velocity equals negative 34e to the power of negative 2t minus 16. What will happen as t gets bigger and bigger? e to the negative 2t gets closer and closer to zero as t gets bigger and bigger. This means that the function has a horizontal asymptote of v equals negative 16 or velocity equals negative 16 feet per second, which is the limit as t approaches infinity, which means that her terminal velocity is negative 16 feet per second. So we box in that her terminal velocity is negative 16 feet per second. Now for part c. It is safe to land when her speed is less than or equal to 20 feet per second. At what time t does her speed reach 20 feet per second? To find out the time when our skydiver reaches a speed of 20 feet per second, we replace v with negative 20 then set about solving for t. So we have negative 20 equals negative 34e to the power of negative 2t minus 16. 
Adding 16 to both sides of the equation, we get negative 4 equals negative 34e to the power of negative 2t. Dividing by negative 34, we get e to the negative 2t power equals negative 4 over negative 34. Negative 4 over negative 34 simplifies to 2 over 17 or 2 seventeenths. So we have e to the power of negative 2t equals 2 seventeenths. Taking the natural logarithm of both sides of the equation, we get negative 2t equals the natural logarithm of 2 seventeenths. So t equals the natural logarithm of 2 seventeenths divided by negative 2. And our calculator shows us that this speed is reached at 1.070 seconds rounded to the nearest thousandth of a second, which we box in as our correct answer. As a matter of curiosity, let's put our equation for velocity and check out our table view. We see our initial velocity at our initial condition, negative 50 feet per second, which verifies our answer in part A. We also see our speed at one second of about 20.6 feet per second, meaning that uh, very soon thereafter the speed will be 20 feet per second, just as answer C will show us. Also, if we go down to the time of four seconds, the speed gets very close to 16 feet per second, which is our terminal velocity. And we see at 7 seconds, the calculator rounding to the nearest 10 thousandths place rounds to the terminal velocity of negative 16 feet per second. I hope that working this problem has been helpful. This has been a separable differential equation problem. And again, thanks to Karen at uh, National Math and Science Initiative. Thanks for viewing.